What up? What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, Jess, man. Welcome back to another Madden 16 gameplay. You can take a look at our record, and uh, we've just been playing. Uh, we, we've been locked in. We've been locked in getting uh, necessary stops when we needed to. Definitely doing uh, what we always like to do on offensive side of the ball, which is avoiding fourth downs, you know, being very efficient, running the ball, passing the ball when necessary, and when we need to making sure we uh you know have the right play call that's what's very important if anybody's trying fourth down swag you gotta have the right type of play call at the right time you cannot you know have third and one and you know try and do like a five wide there's no need for that <laughs> you know qb sneak it qb sneak it get your first down and get yourself a fresh set of downs man um so to begin the game we are on defense that was a horrible kick by me mulligan it was windy as all my day you know how it is out there and in Lambeau Field, man, out there in Wisconsin, it's a lot of wind, man. Third and two, he hits me with a flat route, and uh, I already know how devastating this offense can be. You know, look at this pocket presence by him. That was beautiful. Like, that was absolutely gorgeous by him. Uh, right there, he goes for a screenplay, and he's unsuccessful. Second and ten, he does the toss. We had him in the backfield, but Eddie Lacy had some type of tackle repelling on him, and our guy just absolutely just fell to the ground like he had... Like he had a, a stroke mid tackle. I don't know. So here we go with Arian Foster. Definitely a good bruising back. You know, very Eddie Lacy like. Uh, just not too much speed, but somebody I should try running up the tackles and hopefully uh, just be able to, you know, move forward positively. But as you guys know, I love my tosses, man. I just wish he had a uh, more speed for me to be more successful with it. Um, right here we got Alfred Blue, expensive bastard. Uh, when you play Mutt, his 74 overall card is super expensive. Uh, there we go. That's the type of runs we want to do, man, with uh, with Arian. Right here, beautiful throw right there towards the sidelines. Goes on ahead and gets us close to the red zone. Well, technically, we are in the red zone. Right here, we're looking and Chaplinkin'. Nice corner route right there. Puts us within the 10-yard line. We end up running the ball right here, and we get shoved forward at the 3-yard line. Fullback, dive. And we get stopped at the 1. Very important right here, and we just get it avoiding the field goal so we tie the game seven seven so here we go back again on defense and this is where we're gonna need some stops here so uh he goes over the middle nice pass by him just quickly throw and he breaks the tackle almost sprung loose right there so uh right there we send a little bit of heat jadavion clowny right here we end up going second and 19 he has plenty of time and ah we dropped the pick third and 19 right here he goes over there towards the right side almost had it but thankfully he ends up dropping it that would have been extremely frustrating. He decides to go for it, and you ain't got no fourth down swag, bro. So we got to send Clowney to remind you that you got to use your special teams. That's why it's there, man. That's why they're there. You got to use them. Let the Madden gods be on your side, baby. Right here, we end up running the ball. You know, trying to make this last possession. Don't want to score too early if I do score. But uh, unfortunately, we break a tackle and get the animation where I couldn't stop. And uh, we give them to, uh, close to 30 seconds remaining. And if you guys know anything about Madden, 20 seconds plus timeouts is a lot of time to move downfield in this game. So first and 10, he steps up in the pocket and looks like he, uh, <coughs> he hit his lineman right there. We got a block shed right there, but he finds somebody over the middle. We hit the hell out of him. And he's at about the 40 yard line. Goes up top and we get an interception right there. And that right there was big. First and 10. We're looking, we're looking, we're looking. We try to go deep up top. And we throw our own interception. One sec remaining. We're not taking any chances. Three man deep. Back everybody the hell up. Make sure we don't get caught off guard. And JJ Swizzle comes through with the set. Was that JJ Swat? If it was, then I'm right. If, I w if it wasn't him and I'm wrong, Mulligan. Uh, so here we go with the ball, man. Possession plus ball. In second half, you guys know what it is, man. Two clock. Take as much of that time off the clock as possible. Don't ever, ever let somebody try to, you know, make you feel bad about running two clock. Listen, when somebody runs true and somebody be like, well, GS, would you like if somebody runs two clock against you? No, because that means I'm not stopping them. <laughs> if you stop them, they cannot run two clock on you. You know what I mean? Uh, right here, I don't I don't mind taking a field goal. You know, just chew as much time on that clock as possible. Now, if somebody runs two clock against me continuously, then that just means that obviously, like, <coughs> I'm not getting to stop. Because if I just stop them, then I get the ball, and then they can't chew clock. 
So uh, as you again, as you see, I'm just trying to you know play for a field goal. I don't mind third and four. I decide just running the ball, hoping to get a first down. But if not, I don't mind kicking a field goal, which exactly what happens. I took the entire third quarter and almost a minute of the fourth quarter, and you know that right there, you just gotta go on ahead and uh, you know play time control. You know, uh, definitely took that drive extremely conservative. But, you know, two, going up two possessions, but more importantly, uh, wasting a lot of time is, you know, good. Because now it's going to be, you know, tougher for him to come back since he only has one quarter to do so. Huge block shed right there. Goes over the middle. He's uh, got tackled at the 50-yard line. Third and nine right here. He goes over there towards um, the left, and he drops the pass. That's unfortunate. And uh, right there, Clowney says hello to Aaron Rodgers, baby. That's the end of the video, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. Remember, only you can prevent voice fires. Discount, double check. And Clay Matthews' mother lives in his locker with Chunky Sue. Peace!